You are focused on one colour for eons to no avail trying to ensure everyone is thinking and acting similarly. Something that seemed comfortable at first, only to discover that you or someone you loved were outliers. I have been feeling this intensely in the last two weeks, and I have never felt such inpouring of love. Yet more than this, that beautiful balance that all of us are going to experience at deep inner levels as our own inner balance returns. The world is inflamed and so are we. Maybe the two are connected and maybe healing our own bodies can help heal the world. God gives you what you secretly desire. It is time for you to begin desiring what God in His grace is able to give you. As long as you are busy with your own things and as long as you allow yourself to be busy, your life is subject to the corresponding laws. You attract what you align yourself with. Whatever you orient yourself towards moves towards you. Anyone who looks for answers in this world will receive answers from this world. Anyone who expands their perception and looks for solutions beyond this level will find the solution there. Both are permissible and correspond to a person's consciousness. What do you focus on? What are your units of measurement and parameters? Perhaps you believe otherwise, a belief that is or will soon be personally tested. You will want to remain part of a like-minded group, yet you will not want to condone certain concepts even though you might acknowledge their rightness. In 3D, those who did not think or act similarly to you or, more importantly, to the social rules were either outcasts or forced into the right 3D basket of sameness. A sameness that has shifted throughout Earth's 3D history, overriding rules created by leaders, known or unknown. Rules that seemed reasonably suitable for you throughout the ages, but never entirely right unless you made that rule and never changed. So throughout this earth life and many others, you shifted with experiences and age, but never deviated much from the dictates of right and wrong. For example, in ancient Greece and other societies throughout the ages, homosexuality was accepted, even glorified. Today, homosexuality, even though not thought as inappropriate as it was a few decades ago, is still not an accepted norm. So many homosexuals are hesitant to acknowledge their homosexuality to the general population. And the same is true for many beliefs or physical actions. This is in, this is not in. We know what you are going through there on earth can be quite challenging at times. And we know that you may need to remind yourselves to not let what you are going through in any given moment get to you. Because we have seen what happens when you do, when you let your life circumstances drag you down vibrationally. You then cannot get the answers that you need. You cannot see or think or feel your way out of where you find yourselves. Because you are so focused on the reality of your situation being what it is. This new world you created is a wondrous array of colors, sounds, actions and emotions Emotions and actions that are new or not aligned with what you once thought was correct. When you allow others to be who they are, you allow the same for yourself. You have shamed yourself into following the right actions and thoughts of others. A shame that you are finally allowing to flow into the universes to be repurposed into a new society of difference instead of sameness. Your first thought is likely that it is not possible to live within a society where rules do not apply or are not necessary. How will you know if you are functioning as a social member or a renegade? How will you know right from wrong? Thought processes drummed into you for life after earth life, encouraging you to ignore your inner needs for the greater good of society. You are beginning to experience the difference between limiting beliefs to what is right within that society or testing new beliefs that feel right for you 
but may not be suitable for your partner, friends, or family. Physically, we might experience all this stress as fatigue, headaches, anxiety, feeling on the brink of crumbling from just trying to keep it all together. In my stress state, I couldn't even think of people who are not in that predicament, with the numerous responsibilities that we carry. Whether it's providing for children, working high demand jobs, having multiple jobs, being plagued with financial insecurity, or being continually exposed to social and political pressures. The days of the dark and restrictive world are numbered. Freedom is making its way on all lines. Nothing that was conceived for the dystopian future of humanity will last. Everything will pass, be destroyed and dissolved like the thickest fog in the sun. There is no doubt you are the last generation of old humanity and at the same time you form the first generation of new humanity. Because very many of you will experience the beginning of the new age in this existence. The greatest miracle of humanity is being shaped by you and that is how you will experience it. This is how change occurs in all members of society. Because even if the young generation has little knowledge of the background and cannot develop any imagination about the evilness of the background forces, these people should not be taken over as a collective by the dark race of this earth and led over into the dystopian timeline. It is a battle that must be waged now, and this battle will be waged by the tried and wise, by the sincere and true by the courageous and assertive light warriors of the first hour. This fight is led by you. You are entering a new comfort zone uniquely yours, as is everyone who transitioned. During these first few days of seeming disharmony, know that a new pattern of self-rightness is developing. Followers will find themselves less and less attached to the reality of this new world. Those of you who glory in your uniqueness will find social followers boring, repetitive, old-fashioned, and no longer part of your inner repertoire. If you feel somewhat disconnected from those you love or interact with, you are shifting as you hoped. Those who question their new thoughts and actions will have more difficulties adjusting to this new world. Allow yourself to flow into self-rightness with your beliefs and actions. But maybe not for long. Major health advances, from genetics to social biology to the discovery of the microbiome. Illuminate our myriad connections to one another, to other living creatures, and to our soil, air, and water. Following that line of thought, it would seem that the more each of us can change our relationship with the fire element within ourselves, we can quite possibly create a cool ripple effect of healing change throughout the planet. So how do we transition into a healthy relationship with the heat that burns within? How do we take that spark and create empowerment, confidence and power rather than letting it make us crisp, burnt out and fried? That is the question for the times we're living in. First, I think it's worthwhile to note how balanced and imbalanced fire show up in your life. Look at the list below to see how you might stack up. In other words, if you take your attention off of what has been putting you in that funk long enough and go and do something playful and fun for a while, that's when your vibration will naturally rise up so that the solution, the answer, can find its way to you and you can find your way to it. We are not talking about sticking your head in the sand or pretending something isn't real when it truly is, because you are there to face the challenge that is in front of you. But you are also there to face it in a different way than you have ever faced it before. That is what makes this lifetime different from all the others. You have different tools in this lifetime. You have better strategies in this lifetime. You have incorporated teachings that are new to you in this lifetime. And so you cannot fight your way out of a lower vibration space. 
but you can allow yourself at times to go down to rock bottom if you need to in order to fully surrender, to fully let go. And some people do take that route, but if you can get yourself out of a funk for a little while by watching a video that makes you laugh, or by getting into the ocean, or walking in the forest, then do so. If you know you will be uplifted by calling your very loving, compassionate and down-to-earth friend, then do so. You don't have to go through what you are going through all alone, and you don't have to struggle your way out of that hole that you find yourself in. It is important for you to recognize that things are always changing and changing for the better. And therefore, your circumstances will change if you allow them to by taking your attention off of them. Otherwise, you may find a solution that is a temporary fix, but then you will find yourself with the same circumstances or very similar circumstances, not too far down the road. Indeed, these people's consciousness is being helped. Those who have chosen the dystopian timeline at the soul level will continue to willingly follow the system's instructions. Even through awakening events, these people will not deviate from their comfortable path of leaving thinking and feeling to others. Completely different are those young people who have become entangled in this matrix. Who have been taken over by negativity, even though they have a creative soul plan at their core. These young people will recognize their wake up call in the upheavals that are now following and will act accordingly. Like a resurrection, many people will turn their lives around 180 degrees and will no longer be recognizable. Trust and rely on the fact that your children will also be freed from the drugs of this matrix and brought to healing. That time is coming and it is very near because you are the last generation of this humanity and the first generation of the new earth now emerging. So hold on and keep your nerve, as the messages often say. But if you feel like your fire within might be raging, it might be a good idea to start to cool off with diet. Food choices are within your control and food is our most direct connection between our inner and outer world. Think of it this way, choosing to buy foods grown on organic regenerative farms not only helps to prevent climate inflammation, because the farming practices help sequester carbon from the atmosphere. The organic vegetables also provide your bodies the most reliable buffer against inner inflammation. Shifting your food choices will immediately help both to cool the planet and to cool your body. You may also tend to eat less because you'll get the most nutrients from what you do eat. You will feel better and look better, and you'll likely save money on both food and health care as you do your bit to protect the earth. Our spread confidence and to stand firm in the certainty that everything will turn out well. Place this deep anchor of basic trust in everything that is, and you will master this critical phase of ascension. The destructive element that has been released by the dark forces, the potential threat of extinction of large parts of humanity, which is certainly being considered by these forces, and the tighter the noose around their necks tightens in the literal sense, the greater their desperation. We are in this critical phase today. That's why it's now important to mobilize all the love energy that you are capable of. Peace, love and unity, that's what it's all about now. It is now important to manifest this internally and to detach yourself from the dramas that are unrolled in front of you every day and transported to your living room in pictures. Stay in love inside, stay at peace inside. Don't allow yourself to be provoked or tempted to retaliate. All of this has no place on the new earth or in the hearts of the new humanity. Treat those people who don't understand you with understanding. Promote a neutral attitude toward those people who reject or are hostile to you. 
make sure you respond to hate with love, then everything that needs to be done in this critical phase will be done. This is your master's test, and you will pass it if you practically apply the knowledge you have acquired about the nature of energy.